So like I said, Pop's gonna beat the fuck out of Tony. But it wasn't no like just regular beat down. It was like one of them I'm fucking you up because I can't believe you did what you did. And it wasn't even like nobody jumped in, nobody said nothing. Everybody just stood in shock. Because now everything is coming out like a nigga just just stuck. Right? So now Pop's trying to talk to EB like, tell me what happened. He be like, I don't want to talk about it right now. I just got that part off my chest. Like, I'm dealing with a lot. But I will talk to you. Just give me a couple of days. He like, okay. He telling EB, I'm sorry. Y'all should have been told me. Don't never hide nothing from me. He telling Rayshawn, what did I do to you? Rayshawn said, you didn't do nothing. He said, why you couldn't trust me to tell me? He said, because I really thought it was my fault. He was like, ain't nothing your fault. But didn't I teach you that? He was like, yeah, but he said he's trying to explain to his daddy, look, when you in it, dad, it's different. But the dad can't get past, like, what did I do? Did I do something? Did I make you not feel comfortable? Like, the dad can't get over that. And he's steady like, no, dad, it wasn't true. He said, because for a minute, I liked it. I wanted it. When he stopped, I, you know, would do stuff for him to do it to me. He was like, at one point, I went from feeling like it was bad to I needed it. So the dad just like, in twin, like, let's go. And I'm like, you don't want to wait in a second. Your daddy, he like, man, I want to get the fuck away from here. I got to go. I got to go. Like, we got to go. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's go. So I walk over there, I ask the dad, I say, you need me to do anything before we leave? I'm like, you know, your son's is ready to go. So he tell the twin, come here, let me talk to y'all. Twin like, I don't want his heart. He like, I don't even know how to feel. He like, come here, don't make me call you again. He like, everything gonna be out and open on this table, so you need to go on and bring your ass here. You know what I'm saying? So twin walk over there or whatever. He walk over there. He walk over there or whatever. He's talking to him. His daddy trying to explain to him. Did anything wrong with y'all? Like, what's going on? His friends was like, ain't nobody never did nothing to us. Like, Tony ain't never try us. He ain't never. You know, I'm talking about like, we don't even. They're confused. Like, how we in the same house and we was living two separate lives. Like, they confused now twin is mad like how I didn't pick up on this like what the hell like you know what I'm saying they dad like I, I need a moment I don't even know how I feel so dad new boo thing auntie slide over there grab him they getting they stuff breaking everything down we leave so when we leave I'm like damn I wanted to like try to ease the mood but I'm like, nah, this ain't the time. You know what I'm talking about? Chill out for it be some ish. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, babe, is it something you want? He like, nah, I don't, I don't want nothing. He like, I just want to drink. So now I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm like, what you want to drink? This nigga say, sober saying. Now, hold on now, sir. I know you going through something. And I know this is a lot to take in. And I ain't trying to be selfish. But we've been drinking Henny, Remy, Patron, Ciroc. Like, we've been drinking. We already been drinking some low budget. Not like that, but like that. Because you know Henny and Remy ain't, ain't nothing exploited. But we, we, we downgrade. Oh, you want to get fucked up. Fucked up. Alright. I'll, I'll stop in the store and get a bottle, babe. There's no problem. I look at the homegirl. She look at me like, God damn. She said, well, I want some Hennessy. Her son said, well, I'm drinking whatever my brother drinking. Y'all can get what y'all get. Yeah, we gonna get something else. He like, he hit me with the, so you ain't gonna drink with me? You know a nigga going through something like you can't just be what I'm on tonight. Ooh, sir. 
This will be the time you want to test my love. Cause sir, super sad. I mean, I ain't drunk this since we was kids. And you, you still want it with the Kool-Aid, huh? Alright, he said go get four bottles. What? Four bottles? He was like, well, since y'all want liquor, get some tequila. Wait, wait, hey, that's not, you know what, all right, he give me the $100, I go in the store, me and the homegirl, she said, man, what they trying to do, I said, look, we just gonna be supportive bitches today, okay, we just gonna be supportive, you know what I'm talking about, she was like, oh my God, I ain't drunk this since we was young, I said, I know, oh my God. And he want us to get tequila. Oh lord. Okay. We get the four bottles of silver satin. Even the nigga in, even the man in the liquor store was looking like. He said, Oh y'all but y'all own one tonight. I said, Man, you only knew. He like, I ain't know, I ain't seen you get this. I know it forever. So I get the four bottles of satin, I get the Kool-Aid, and I get the tequila. We gotta fit the Jose Quavo. When we got in the car, my dude said, Babe, go get one more bottle of Quavo and another bottle of Satan. Okay. <laughs> All right, baby. <laughs> All right. I go in there and I get it. I get some more blunts. I was like, cause I already see where this is going. So I made sure I probably got like 15 blunts that night. We get back to the house. He say, babe, you gonna cook? I'm like, you want me to cook? He like, yeah, I just want to eat and drink. And you know, lay down because I can't even process what all happened. I'm like, I understand. You know what I'm talking about? I was like, I could, why don't you sit in here with me? He was like, I'll sit in here with you. I'm like, what you want? He like, oh no. I'm like, boy, what you want? Like, he like, you know, I kind of like, I want your steak. I'm like, oh, here he go. He want another full course meal. But it's cool, because he going through something. He been good to me, the way he hitting it. He deserve it. I'm going to give it to him. So I call my homegirl in there. Hey, you know what's going to go to the store? I'm not finna have thought no steaks. Do y'all want steaks? They like, yeah. Go get some more. Hurry up before the Mexican market down the street close. Hurry up. Because yeah, if you can't catch Mexican market, go to the Mexican market. Hurry up. Go get that. Go get this. Go get the stuff for breakfast. Because I don't want nothing in the morning because I already know I'm going to have to cook. He's like, baby, thank you. He kissing on me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm in there mixing, getting everything done, the prepping or whatever. So now he talking to me. He done popped a silver side. He done poured him a big cup. I'm looking like, please don't offer me none right now. He's like, babe, drink with me. Come on. Have a glass with me. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'll give me a glass. He poured you. I put some more in there. Put some more. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> okay. He like, come on, let's take a shot. So we silver sign this tequila. Uh, I'm like, yeah, it's <laughs> burning. I am not in high school no more. My body can't take this. Like, oh my god, for real. But you know, after them first couple of shots and them first couple of sips. It go down like water. You know what I'm talking about? At the initial burning, it, it's a wrap. So we sitting there talking. He was like, babe, I feel some type of way. I said, why? He said, because how I didn't know. I said, because, babe, when you pure and your intentions ain't negative, right? It be hard for you to assume this about your own family because y'all are family dynamic. Like, you love your brothers for real. You never want to see them hurt. You never want to hurt them. So you're not even thinking that your brother, your other brother is on this type of shit. I said because all you thinking of is we grew up loving each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tony, y'all always look at Tony was stricter because Tony was already military. 
boot camp, stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So he always been a certain way. So you never assume that Tony would be like that. And it's okay that you didn't see it. I said, and you can't feel bad you didn't pick up on it. You know what I'm saying? I said, because you got to remember your brother said at one point he wanted it. Even after Tony stopped. You get what I'm saying? He wanted it. Not even though it was because of what Tony manipulated him, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, babe, so you're not going to see it like that. All you saw was a little brother that wanted to be up under his big brother. He said, yeah, but I just never wanted to be around Tony like that. And I just fit, he was like, and I wonder, and I'm like, it's not about that, babe. I said, Tony just wasn't your vibe. And he knew that. I said, people know who they can pray on, babe. People know. You know what I'm saying? They know. He was like, yeah, because I, I was like, I get it, you know. He was just, in his feelings expressing himself. He was like, yeah, but my mama, she thinks she's slick. He like, I'm not never fucking with her. He was like, and I really don't know if I want to fuck with this baby. And I'm like, wow, you know, with the baby, he said, because it just reminds me of how fucked up this whole family is. And I was like, I understand. I said, but the baby innocent. He was like, is the baby innocent? He was like, I don't understand this. If people want to cheat, do what they do, why do you not use protection? Why would they want to bring the baby into the world? He like, I don't understand that. You already doing something and saying that you want to bring a baby on top of you being married. I'm like, well, shit, you right, huh, babe? You damn right. You damn right. Exactly. Be a sensitive hoe if you go do it. Have some, have some type of, some type of, you know. Uh, what's the word? Uh, 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 the crumb about you <laughs> The whatever the word is. <sighs> you ain't got to bring a baby into the world. I told you, we was just vibing. So I done got everything prepped. You know what I'm saying? I done cut all the onions and bell peppers up for the steak. I done chopped up the smell of potatoes. This boy got a thing for potatoes. It's just, I don't know. I done got everything together. So I'm been waiting on this steak. Everything is, you know, a steak don't take long. So it, it was booming. We drinking. We playing cards. Now see, this one shit getting a little testy. We playing cards. I'm playing with the homegirl. And I'm telling her, pay attention. Pay attention. You understand? Because I'm watching. But see, I am also know my cards. I know if an ace ain't been played, a king ain't been played. So I'm knowing what I'm doing. I'm telling her parents that she like, I got it. Because now she off the side. We all off the side. And everybody feeling good. They kind of like, they're, they're less emotional than they was in the beginning. Because we didn't ate. Now we big drinking. We smoking. We having a good time. You know what I'm talking about? This bitch fucking around and reneged. Oh, and my dude was loaded. So he was extra about it. Ah, oh, we got him. Ah, oh, we got y'all. She reneged. I'm like, no, she didn't. I'm like, I know she didn't. Oh, she did. So now my dude, he's steady going in on her. Like, ah, you weak. You don't know how to play. Da 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 da. She like, you. I'm like, I ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah, I'm talking about this cool. They clowning, it's spades, it get real, you know what I'm talking about? But then she still talking. She like, nah, you like you got me up. Yeah. I'm like, you over you over there kinda aggressive, ain't you, baby? You over there kinda aggressive, ain't you, baby? She like, no, no. Every time we play, he just go in. I'm like, why are you so mad? What's up with you? You got something you want to tell me? She like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, he just be, you know, he be hitting below the belt. He can win, like. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm like, but well, pipe down, though. You a little razzle-dazzle over there. You know what I'm talking about? You making me think something. She like, no, nah, pull I would never. I'm like, yeah, all right. She like, nah, pull you, you tipsy, like, nah, I'm like, nah, we ain't blaming nothing on that car, baby, I'm telling you what I see, and I'm telling you how I'm feeling, so you can take it how you want to, yeah, calm down, her dude sitting there laughing, he like, pull, nah, she ain't grind me like that, bro, I'm like, I know, I said, but see how when I get to popping my shit, it don't be funny, huh, 
she like, oh my god, Pooh, come here, let me talk to you, let me talk to you, I'm like, what you want to talk about, she like, it ain't nothing like that, I never cross you, I ain't never did nothing like that, well, I'm like, all right, pipe down, we good, we good, but you know, I'm off the same, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all the way, the way I'm not normally at, you know what I'm talking about, so we sitting there, we getting fucked up. We all look at each other. Who the fuck at this door? My, I'm lit. So my scary ass, get up. I grab a home girl. Tell her, come on. We damn near out the back door. Because it was so hot that anybody came to this house. Now, my dude, he didn't like sober up, grab his shit, twin to grab his shit. They didn't cut the light off and everything. This is how drunk we is. You understand? We didn't cut the lights off, TV off, everything. We ready to, it's ready to go and go. <laughs> Hear the door knock again. I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga, open the door like. He like, oh, so that's how you feel? You gonna shoot me? And I look up. It's Tony. He like, I just came to get my stuff. Twin like, yeah, get your shit and get out. He like, you ain't gotta do all that. But I'm about to get my stuff and go. Twin, other twin like, hey, bro. You a weirdo? You a weak ass, you know what I'm talking about? He like you a, you a, you a, you a, ah, 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 and all that. So Twin like, yeah, you a whole ass pedophile, you a molester, you this, you that, woo woo, da 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 da, woo woo, going in. Tony say, all right. Twin like, yeah, all right. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh shit. So he getting this stuff, he going outside. They steady going back and forth. Nigga, you, whoa, 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 whoa. Da, 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 da. I'm like, well, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, you know, I can't use the cuss words because y'all know YouTube kind of own me a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? So I got to watch my mouth and I'm like, ah. But they, you know. You nigga like what's up? You know what I'm talking about? He like what you say? You wanna get in? He like yeah. Tell me, take off. <laughs> now this is the second time my baby they got stolen on now. <laughs> I'm like, baby, you can fight, but you gotta start being you gotta start being aware. So twin them was out there squabbling Tony. Now Tony can fight. And I don't know if it's cause of the military or what. But Tony can fight. So they out there squabbling, squabbling, squabbling. Now as they fighting the phone ring, phone ring. I'm running out to the front yard. She answered the phone. Hello? It's the daddy. Hey, what y'all over here doing? Did Pooh cook? She like, yeah, Pooh cook steak and all that. But your sons is out here fighting. I think they finna kill Tony. They got guns and everything. Daddy like, what? Hang up. <laughs> he on his way. <laughs> we get outside. We trying to break it up. Now, I done got pushed all into the car. I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I, that was it for me. I ain't breaking up this fight. So, Tony, like, they got Tony on the ground. So, they get up. He like, I'm finna go head over both of y'all. Twin, like, all right, I'm first. They go in. Boom, boom, boom. They fighting. Boom, boom, boom. They fighting. Next thing I know, they start fighting. Now, him and Twin fighting. They getting down. Boom, boom, but now I'm looking at this twin. I'm like, damn, twin got the quiet one. He can squabble now. Mine can squabble too. But you know, he just be doing too much talking sometimes. <laughs> be getting his ass lit up. Yeah, <laughs> but he can fight though. He ain't gonna turn down nothing. And I love that. I ain't tripping. So, by the time they finish fighting, they arguing. Twin like throwing his stuff all in the street. Damn, so like they getting into it. He trying to go get his bag from over here. 
get his bag from over here. He talking shit. I'm talking about blood leaking down his face. They talking shit. He like, fuck y'all. You bitch ass niggas. Y'all my brothers. Y'all just go go against me. He like, hell yeah. The day you touch Rayshon, we bit, we gonna always go against you. He like, oh, so I can't get help. He like, you don't want no help. Da -da 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 -da. They going back and forth. Daddy pull up. Daddy pull up. Jump out. No shirt on. Basketball shorts, long socks, tennis shoes, and the auntie right there. He get out the car like lining up. <laughs> Me and the whole girl standing next to each other, still in bed. He like, I ain't talking about y'all calling my son. Oh shit! <laughs> you jumped up, said lining up. <laughs> I ain't know who you talking to. Shit, I got nervous. I lined it up. Shit, I ain't know what we was finna do. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back on the porch. Now, as he got out the car, I was like, well, he called because he wanted some food. And she told us, you know, they was getting into it. I said, yeah, I'll go in there and make him a plate. You know, I was like, you want some too? She was like, yeah, I want some. I was like, okay. So the sons, they lined it up. He like, let's go to the back. Y'all, y'all want to show? Y'all want to show? Line it up. I'm in there making a place and I'm trying to hurry up. You get what I'm saying? Because I want to be nosy. The auntie said, well, come on. We can go back there and watch. Girl, come on. Let's go back here and watch. I get back here. The daddy got them lined up. He like, at the end of the day, I don't like this nigga. I don't like what he did. But he's still my son. I can't disown him. I got to fix the problem. So line it up. Y'all want to fight it out? Fight it out. My, hurry up and take off on this brother. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. They lining it up. They lining it up. Other twin, they run their rounds again. Now, daddy say line it up. Oh, shit. Daddy get to take it off on Tony again. Boom, boom, boom. But he giving him all body shots. I'm talking about all body, chest, and stomach. Boom, 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 boom. I'm talking about Tony is folding. You hear me? I'm talking about. I'm talking about, hey, it's a wrap. You understand me? It's a wrap. Folding. And then he walk over there in the mind. He like, you? When I tell you to fall back? That's what I mean. I done told you. I need you fighting for me. I run my program. Ain't nothing weak about me. I know you think that, but I keep telling you ain't nothing weak about me. He like, he like, shut up. Boom. He walk over there to the other twin. Twin like, I ain't say. Boom. Shut up. That's your problem. You'll never want to say man until it's too late. Shit, let me go back there and make this goddamn plate. I done seen it all. He wrapped it up. He all go, hey, pops, hey. If I gotta come back over here, it's a problem. Now go get this shit out the street. And go take your ass where you need to go. And you better be ready for therapy next week. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, shit. So. So then. Auntie them leave. Baby, I was like, what's it like gonna be? As soon as Auntie them leave, the phone ring again. Phone ring again. And guess who it is now? It's the police. You know why the police calling? Hey. Is Wookie Will Whoop available? Yes, he is. Give me one second. Babe, police want you. What? Babe, police on the phone. He get on the phone. Hello? They like, sir, calm down. He like, what y'all calling me for? What's up? He like, is your mother name with you? Yep, Elizabeth, that's my mama here. Alright, is there any way you can get over here right now? We need somebody to take care of the baby. Why? Because her and Mr. Charles was in a domestic violence situation 
And if somebody don't come down, the baby's going to go to CPS. He like, all right, he ain't got the phone. He like, man, I don't want to go. I'm like, we're going. He like, man, I'm not with that still. Your sibling. Let it go. I'm like, your daddy just nodded you up. Right? So now we on our way over there to the mama. We get down over there to the mama back in camping. Her and Charles. Charles then bust out all the windows. The car windows. I'm talking about they didn't went back and forth. She didn't stab Charles. It's just turmoil. Alright. We get the baby. We leave. We get back to the house. We in there. The daddy call. Find out we got the baby. He like what? They like Charles and tore up the house. Whoa, whoa. Daddy go over there. Change the locks. Clear the whole house out over the weekend. Whole house cleared out. New locks. Uh, uh, so wrap. New windows, everything. Trespassing signs is up. All this shit. Now we got the baby. So, she finally get out. She get out probably like, she got out like four or five days later. Now, the whole time we had the baby, I done fell in love with the baby. I'm not going to lie to you. I done fell in love with the baby. You know what I'm talking about? Like, in love with the baby. Because the baby was just so sweet. Oh, just like, so calm and so sweet. Like, and this nigga had fell in love with his brother. You know what I'm talking about? He had fell in love. So, the daddy the whole time, we didn't even know what he was on. You know what I'm talking about? But then I thought about it. Oh, shit. They was married. When she had him. So, technically, this his baby. And I ain't even noticing what all the daddy had did. Right? So why would she come to get the baby? When she get out, they call us. And they say, hey, if Elizabeth try to come get the baby, don't release the baby to her. Don't release the baby to her. Who do we release the baby to? Do we release the baby to Charles? Oh, absolutely not. Who do we release the baby to? Oh, the baby only can be with the brothers and the dad. What we didn't know was, I forgot that that's a law. If your wife have a baby, when y'all marry, that's your baby. The daddy took custody of the baby. And this is when all the rest of the drama hit the fan. Now, she got to go to court. Charles got to go to court. Now, I don't know what happened over there at Charles and them household. But Charles and them daddy wasn't feeling that. Charles and them mama wasn't feeling that. So, it went from being cool, nigga, to a whole out war. So, now it's court time. And it already been back and forth and already been some drama because Charles' mama felt like, well, at the end of the day, I know what happened, but that's my grandbaby. And <laughs> so is the daddy, like, you know, because they kind of, they didn't bond it with the baby, you know what I'm talking about? And I can see why, you know what I'm talking about? The pops, like, <laughs> we playing chess, not checkers. Now it's the court date. And baby, this was shit got real.